I know. I don't know what's worse. The noise of that or the midges, but the midges were getting to me this morning, so I had to put my midgey hat on. I was up early this morning, so I've been doing a good bit of work. I started about quarter past six. Um, now with the days being long and everything, which is great. So, and I was getting eaten by midges, so this was the safest way to go. Um, so I'll show you what I've done there now. So this morning I've done this section here. I've just got to go up to the top. I'm going to leave that on um, for the time being because, like I said, it's not going to be this year now. You know, like I was saying, I was we've got all the tops to do, get stone. Realistically, it's going to be next year um, because, you know, yourself, I've got a lot to do. So uh, I'm going to take up as far as I possibly can. I go from there, so I've done a, a good bit at the bottom yesterday. Oh, not yesterday, it's Friday, it's Sunday today. And I've done up there. So I'm pleased, I'm pleased with that. So I'm just going to carry on doing a bit in the middle. Um, and then I'll work my way across there. Yeah, we got the sills and you know like we were waiting for them before Christmas obviously uh, we couldn't get them in they'd come just before Christmas but then we couldn't get them in so I'm quite pleased quite pleased with them I'll see how we get on with them I noticed there was a couple of cracks I'm hoping they're going to be okay Buzz can you move? like a uh, I suppose it's a it's how they are. But this crack there. Oops, I don't know if you can see that at all. There for this one. Um don't think it's gonna affect it too much. There's a couple of cracks in them, but yeah, I had I had him to chisel it to give it a more of a natural look. Because with the house not being perfect, I didn't want these to be perfect. So obviously um, the tops of the sills are, are smooth, as you can see. Uh, we've got a ridge, that would be the ridge for, I presume, for the window to sit on there. So I'll work that out as we go on. So if anyone's got any tips and ideas um, that we might be able to use. Plenty of um, coarse sand. This is the coarse sand. Coarse sand. You see all like the different shadings in it? So when I when I scrape back the fat, it um, gives it a nice effect. So eventually I'll be doing it on this because we want to convert this, which would be great. Uh, get some use out of it. But in saying that, in the positivity side of things, I'm loving my garden pruner. It's brilliant, my little pruner. I've been at it this morning again, getting there. Uh, I've cleaned that back because you couldn't see any of these stones here because it was so big and I've cut it right back and I can see my stones again so yeah I'm really really pleased because there's a little tree growing yeah that's a pull out you can see how much I've pulled out and cut back and oh wow god it's a game changer and over there as well, cleaning it all up. It's actually, uh, the plants look happier for it. They're really sprouting nicely. Yeah, I'm really pleased, really pleased. That's getting quite a bit big. I've cut some of that with the chainsaw, not much, just uh, I might trim it back a bit more because it's, um, I've got me lilies here, but part of this uh, little tree here now, it's not able to grow, so I'm probably gonna have to trim that back. 
Um, I will trim it back a little bit more. I've took some out already, but I want to try and keep it as private as possible. Uh, so that little hedgerow there is growing nicely. And um, I'll just show you. Look at that. Aren't they gorgeous? More grass. You see, some of these I might have to take out. I was thinking. I might have to dig that one out eventually, but not yet. Look at this little fern, isn't it nice? I really like, it. really like that. So the uh, the hedges over there are coming on nicely. Yeah, really. And I've topped all these with me little um, still saw me little one, my garden pruner one. So that's all been tidied up. It's actually blunt now. So I've got to, I've been cleaning it out as well. I'll have to show you how to do that. Um, I'm going to learn how to sharpen it because Vincent does all that. So I'm going to get him to show me and I'll sharpen it. Brilliant. Even uh, over there, I tidied that area up a lot. Now, this, you see this curled coil here, there's, there's the chisel, that chisel goes in there and then this curved coil wraps around the chisel and then it can move back and forward into place. But this coil has broke, oh look at that, it just broke off. That coil has broke so many times and Vincent's managed to repair it um, three times now but now we're starting to run out of coil we've got coils ordered uh, but they won't be here till Wednesday and it's Monday today so he's going to try and see if he can take this piece off so we can wrap it around the, the chisel just so I can get a little bit more work done it's very frustrating the weather's fantastic and I can't do any more chiselling. So I've managed to take off some of the plaster work around that window. Um, I've got to t um, take out the old pointing now around that window. But like I said, I can't do that now. Um, we're getting new chisels as well this week. I'm just hoping because it's so frustrating because I, I did so well uh, yesterday as you can see I mean I started the bottom half off as I've shown you um, on uh, when was it no it was this bottom half here I started then we had to get the, a new air compressor and so that was Wednesday I did that part then Thursday um, and Friday, I think it was Thursday, no, thir no, sorry, Thursday we got the compressor, um, the new compressor, and then um, Friday I managed to finish work early, so I got half of this done, and Sunday I managed to do all of this down here, I've got a bit across there to do, that's very hard cement, and with the chisel being the way it is, I didn't want to go into the hard cement. Um, but I've got a lot of the old render and a lot of the old bits of cement that was on the wall and a lot of the pointing out there now. Um, so that's all I can do for the moment because I was hoping to get 
this section finished today, but that's a bummer. I don't know if they can fix if they can fix that, then I'll get that finished today. And then I was hoping to do the gable of the house and um, to start that. Now with the windows, I've already told you we've, we've uh, we're doing them last with the sills and everything because I can't do that on my own totally. Vincent's going to help me with that. I've got to take all this land away so I can get right down to the the bottom stones. But I'm looking forward to getting this done. I don't know how I'm going to do the chimney. Yeah, I don't know. Anyone got any ideas or anything like that? Um, because quite a number of years ago. Um, we had uh, fellas in to uh, to look about putting a new roof on, um, but it was too much money to get the roof um, done, so we didn't have the funds for that. And they told us the two chimneys need rebuilding. Uh, obviously, we use this chimney. We don't use that chimney, but whether we're, we're going to, I don't know. It would be nice to have a, something that you could use if you ever wanted to, but realistically, I don't think we're going to use it. And it'd be nice if we could take it down and then we'd get more space inside the house. I mean, look at that day. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful day. It's managed to temporarily fix it again until we get the parts on Wednesday. So hopefully, I'm hoping to get get a nice bit done. Hopefully, an hour or two out of it. We'll see. Oh, I wish I wish the parts were coming sooner.